What's up, Locker Nuts? It's locker time. Are you ready? We got another unit. Oh, it's been so hard to get them lately. They're either going for ridiculous prices or they're getting canceled. And it's been a real struggle, but we got this one. This is really exciting. It's 600 bucks. Let me show you what it looks like. Oh, hey, there's the wall right there. So not too deep. I thought it looked small, but it said five by 10. Sure enough, when we get here, oh my goodness, can you see back there? That is, it's dark and packed solid. And look at the boxes are up above the door. Five by 10, five by 10. So it goes all the way down here apparently. So, and then all the way over to here, apparently. This is a, a lot of stuff. I liked it because it's got a lot of boxes. I, I of course love the black and yellows. Everyone loves the black and yellows, but I didn't see any furniture, but there's no way of seeing what's behind there. I didn't really see anything else as good. <laughs> so, but hey, we could play the lottery or we could play the storage locker game. I'm taking this as the safer bet every time. The, usually the worst thing that I lose is my time and a little sweat. And look at this, even though I brought a table with me today, I didn't need to. We got that right there. There's another table right here, but that's a six footer. Um, that's good. That's going to be a keeper, but look at this. Got a nice little trunk. A trunky trunk. Okay. We got uh, very quick with some decent stuff. Empty bins, garbage cans, empty bin. And I brought my own cart today just in case. Haven't bought this facility in, in um, a while. I think probably two years. Not for any reason. This is close to my house and I actually used to rent here. I've bought many times back when they used to have live auctions. So um, anyways, I like the facility. I like the boxes. I'd like to get started. How about you? Let's get in it. Ooh, this is a nice one. I have another one kind of like this. Oh, actually, it's a little dirty. <laughs> I think this was used for food because I can smell it. And I see that big pot right there. Man, it's uh, really strong smelling, and even my hands now smell of like food. And then I see the little cockroach right there, dead cockroach. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. So, this is kind of dirty too. It said appliances in the ad, uh, you know, for what it contained appliances. Uh, and now I see this is like a washing machine. But there's a pot, I like that pot right there. That'll sell at the market for sure. Okay, got that table out too. Oh man, look at this thing's stacked all the way up in there. There's a lot of stuff for how small the unit is. Five by 10 is not small, but, but there's a lot of stuff in here. I like this right here though. Look at this, Uggs. Right there, Uggs. Okay, a little dirty, a little worn. Okay, the heel's worn off, but still, Uggs is good. Another thing I must say that I like about this facility is how well lit it is. Yeah motion sensors, really good lighting in here. Um, some of the facilities we've been to recently, not so well lit. There's some Nike slides right there. Glasses, sweet. That's what it says, sweet. That's cool. Spider-Man, uh, no, there's Iron Man. There's Spider, uh, Lizard or whatever from Spider-Man. We got some toys. Incredible. Hmm. What's this? VTech, Kitty Zoom, Camera Picks. Huh, seems a little bit nicer. Hmm, some kind of balloon inflator party pump. Hmm. That's neat. Kind of dirty though. It's brand new, Star Wars. All right, I'll go through this, guys. I'll let you know if there's anything good. I want to get to some boxes. This is just toys and shoes. Oh, look at this, Xbox One Anthem. Ugh. It looks okay. It's got some fingerprints on it, but it's not It's not scratched. Um, okay, so that's kind of decent boxes, Thrash, but Xbox One game, yeah, we like that. Okay, another random shoe. Ah, man, dirty. Some kind of lazy season or something. Okay, there's brand new things. Very dirty though. Everything so far has got a layer of grease on it. Okay. Oh, that doesn't really go there, but whatever. Drying rack. Okay. That's a good time for Halloween. 
Snoopy lighted the sculpture. Looks like it's in there. But what? Inside's so dirty. Okay, what do we got here? This is kind of neat. It's heavy too. Crate creatures surprise. Huh. Wonder what he does. Oh, look at this. Incredible Hulk. Oh, neat. Ah. Okay. A Spidey. Mickey Mouse headphones. There's a gray Hulk. Disney emojis. Oh, that's cool. Abom I think that's the abomination. Ah, and look at this. Xbox One controller. It's missing the battery pack. Let's look for that. And that's for a Switch. Super dirty, but I think it's for a Switch. Yeah, that guy's neat. A robot guy. Boy, kind of dirty though, guys. Look at this dirt on the bottom of this. Ooh, don't like that. No, sir. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, so it's really dirty. What's up with me buying so many dirty lockers lately, guys? I mean, look at the look at the condition on this stuff. That's a, it looks like it's sealed brand new. Um, inflatable mattress that's never been opened. That's worth a few bucks. And the Splash Buddies Swim Ring Mermaid. That's brand new too. Okay, that's sellable. Okay, V Sport Thermal Base Layer Set. Two, boys, two piece. So, six bucks at double these discounts. And we got a trash bag. That might come in handy. Again, again like condition is really bad look at it. i hope you guys can see like the dirt and grease that is on this stuff it's in, it's insane actually i mean I, I just can't believe so much dirt on stuff and this is the second locker in a row i got like that i'm just hoping these look clean the black and yellows and they're stacked high there's more of those than i thought from the photos so i'm hoping there's better stuff in those black and yellows that's the good stuff hopefully the dirty stuff is in, is in these loose ones with no lids 40 earbuds, buck 99. Just got some cheap stuff here. Oh, there's another one of those. Oh man, got a snow globe, but again, look at the condition on it. Man. Rope. It's great stuff for the market, actually. Not great stuff for our live auctions, and that's, that's what I really want to find. I think that's a heater right there, a little portable heater. Or not portable, but plug it in, it kicks off a little heat. Brand new products here, body fantasies. Hmm. Hillboy 2, brand new sealed. Poltergeist, brand new sealed. Just dirty beyond belief, really. Incense fountain. I'm not going to be paying too much attention to this stuff because it's just the conditions and so, such bad. Look at that. That's I don't even know what's on there. Something leaked out and I don't know. Maybe it's just soap. Maybe that's all it is, is that soap. Forever Yours, brand new. I mean, this is another sealed movie. These are decent movies, but I won't I won't put those in our auction. If you guys are new to the channel, you hear me talking about trying to find stuff for our auctions. That's where we make most of our money. That's where we sell stuff for a good, good amount of money. You know, we bring stuff to the flea market. We just don't make very much money. So we're looking for ways to maximize the profit. And that's in our live auctions. It is not at the flea market, so. Flea market is just a way to make stuff go away. That's a older Raider shirt right here. Oakland, nice. I'm smelling some cigarettes now. Damn. Smelling cigarettes. Uh, cigarette odor is pretty strong in here. That's just going to go to the flea market right here. Right now I am kicking myself for not bringing my trailer. I could have loaded a lot of this stuff very quickly. I brought my van today. Mm. Look at this stuff like dripping down into the boxes. Once again, the uh, smell of cigarettes in this one is pretty strong. Okay, this is kind of a cool find. A little uh, washing machine. And it's a Hayer HLP21N. I hope it works. Can't believe how dirty that is, but it, it could be cleaned up, of course. Oh, God. 
what did they wash in there? Do you see it in there? <laughs> Gosh. This one out, actually may out dirty the last dirty one. Let's see what's in here. Oh gosh. Oh boy guys, I'm starting to worry about this locker. Mm. Bugs. There's bugs right there. Red copper, these are decent. They probably will sell, but oh, gross. Okay, this one also gross. Kitchen stuff. This one's got has had mice in it. See the chewed and just the dirtiness of it. Wow guys, I'm starting to worry about this. I don't even want to put some of the stuff in my van. It's too dirty. It's too, too gross. That's just gonna go to the dump right there. Come on, where's the good stuff? <laughs> where's the good stuff? Okay, it's just clothes. Kids clothes. That's kind of decent right there. What's that? Blessed with success. <laughs> it's made by Camp. C A M P Jump Man, right there. Kids' clothes. Hmm. Looks to be mostly kids' clothes. It does kind of smell like cigarettes, though. Okay, next one. Next one. More clothes. Yep. More clothes. Dang. Mm. More cigarette smelling clothes. Everything again is just super dirty. If you guys can see the dirt on that stuff, it's fast and furious. That's kind of cool. What's this? Metal machines. Oh, I think we saw one of these open already. One of these guys. Ten bucks. Two of them. I just want to show you guys the contents on the inside are really dirty, but look at even the lids on these totes. I thought they looked clean at a distance they do, but up close, look at this. There's like, looks like uh, cockroach eggs that are hatched. And then all this little black stuff I think looks like excrement basically from insects. That That's a lot of insects crawling on this to create that much poop. And I think they're all like that. This is a really disgusting unit. And all the clothes are smelling like cigarettes. Like, seriously, guys, the last unit I bought, I thought was really dirty and gross. This one is already outperforming that one. <laughs> what is it? I'm, I, I, I need a lesson on how to buy units, apparently, because I've got terrible, terrible taste. I thought this one looked decent. It's not. Okay. A little bit more of this body stuff here. New wave infrared oven right here. It's filthy. If it was in good condition, that might be worth a little bit. <laughs> Look at this push pins and uh, Christmas hooks. Look at this dead roaches on there. So gross. There are roaches in the Christmas box. See, look, I'm not exaggerating, guys. I'm not exaggerating. here. <laughs> Okay, what's this? Look at this, guys. This is a present still wrapped up. It says it's to Shirley from Carolyn. But you know what I think it's supposed to say? To Jack. Because apparently they're waiting for me to open it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. They got me a robe. Not bad. Can't tell if it smells like smoke or not. See, it's from CVS. I don't mind that. Oh, look, and there's little roach fragments on the inside of the paper. It looks like the corner's been nibbled off. Found oh, an iPhone, of all things. Completely cracked up, but whatever. We'll put that aside. I don't think there's any roaches hiding in that. Okay, the lid on this one straight up has like so many dead roaches on there. That's just so gross. So gross. The inside of this one, hmm, it's clean compared to the other ones, but it ain't clean. There's some uh, uh, flatware set. I'm just so grossed out right now. Uh, there's a Mickey Mouse waffle maker. These are brand new right here. Those will sell at the market. Yeah. Gosh. Next one here is just 
covered in more dead roaches than the last one. And <laughs> that says a lot. That says a lot. I don't even want to go through this stuff. It's so gross. So gross. Okay, this one's got some clues. I've not seen one live insect, so that's good. Otherwise, I'd be bugging out. Get it? Ha <laughs> ha. I'd be bugging out. It's my socks right there. There's definitely some stuff we'll be able to sell at the market, but I don't know, about 600 bucks worth. Okay, this cardboard box looks a little kind of interesting a little bit. That almost looks like a Louis Vuitton. It certainly is not. Um, this, we found this crate creature surprise. It's got the remote in there. That's for that neat looking, uh, well, there he is right there. The guy we found earlier. It's in one of the totes already loaded in the car. This is heavy. What's this? Ooh, Klein tools. That's a good bag. What the heck? Look at this, guys. 40. 40, 40 millimeter, 50 round. This is some sort of magazine. <laughs> this is, that's definitely not legal right there. That is definitely not legal. Not in this state, I don't think, but um, look at the size of those bullets, dang. Okay, that's kind of cool. Came with uh, some rubber gloves in there. <laughs> My fingerprints are all over it now. Um, but that bag's kind of nice, it's just stained up, but the Klein Tools, good, good seller. That's very interesting. A little bit of fragrance there. Noir. I don't know what that is. Things popped off, but still more than half full. Looks like mostly toys. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put that on my face though. Okay. Next box. Sticky. Dirty. But I think this is brand new right there. I need another one of those. It's only five bucks, but I could use one of those at home. One of those expanding hoses. Yeah. If. Monopoly, brand new seal, but it's dirty. There's a balloon thing here. It looks like toys. Brand new stuff in here, but it's, again, just dirty. I think you roaches were just running over everything in this locker. Next one. It's closed. It's closed. It's closed. All right, I've made pretty good progress. I got rid of those two huge stacks, most of this stack. Um, what I'm tr doing is I'm just putting the black and yellows in my van, even though they're still pretty dirty on the outside. I just know it locks all the creepy crawlers <laughs> inside for the most part. I haven't seen any, but still had not taken any chances. I'm going straight from here to my uh, trailer where it's being stored at my storage facility and I'm getting it out of my van. It, this stuff reeks. It smells like dirty food and smoke, cigarette smoke. So I don't want it in my van permeating the van. Uh, I like my van. I like it clean. I keep it pr pretty clean. Uh, put that stuff in the trailer. The trailer doesn't matter. Let's see what's in here. Hmm. Look, again, look at the it's it's filthy, guys. I mean, I hope you know I'm I'm not just complaining because you know something's a little dirty. It is filthy, dirty. It stinks really strong. Cigarettes. There's so much dirt on here. What is this thing? It's a um, so like a Pyrex glass plastic top so bad. More cookware. This stuff still might sell at the market, so I'm still going to bring it to the flea market. Um, I mean, obviously, what are my choices? I could donate it. I don't think they'll accept it at the donation. It's too smelly. And I could dump it. You know, I could dump it too. Those are my options. Uh, this is kind of funny because this tote right here, it's identical to one that I brought. I put all the toys in it. These are good totes. Okay. Yeah, big old scale. Oh, Copper Chef scale right there what's that say induction cooktop no that's not a scale that's an actual stove right there hot plate or whatever you call it i just gagged myself opening this one they're all they're all so dirty dead mouth dead mouth <laughs> smells so bad in there and see the rims of these uh Thing. They got all these powder, I think, because the cockroaches have been squeezing underneath the lids. Most of the bins are that way. Oh my goodness, that one's that one's got my eyes watering. It's got me choked up. I smell so bad. Okay. 
Okay, what do we, oh, it's too bad. Got a nice Betty Boop bag here. It's full, but. Oh, well, this is interesting for a second. It's empty. I think we gotta go through these. I'm gonna clear the table. Let's look at these closer. Okay, let's see what we got here. It's gotta look like Tiffany there. Yeah, it turns out there's nothing. Oh, no, another pocket. Come on. Maybe, maybe. Uh, oh, some cheap perfume. This is juicy, juicy Couture. Nice, you know, but the inside's filthy also. And nothing in there. Okay. Feels heavy though. I don't know. Got a toys. Okay, here's a little bit better. Um, this box doesn't look like it's too dirty inside. Uh, I got a couple of these things. I look at. I mean, most of this stuff I think is brand new. Look at that six ninety nine. Two of them. Here's a oh more of those Disney Mickey Mouse waffle makers. This box is actually clean surprisingly. I think I might put these aside to sell in our auction. Two of those. Oh, actually, there's four of those. There's a pop-up game right there. What is that, Paw Patrol or something? Yep. And I got these. Cookies for Santa. <laughs> Cookies for Santa. All right. And then, what's this? T-Rex Target Shooter. That's cool. That'll sell. And then the bottom here, look at this. George Foreman Grills. Brand new. I don't understand why she bought so many brand new items and then stored them, you know? I've said that before. Probably never makes sense to me. There's four waffle makers and four George Foreman's. That's cool. I mean, that, that's a little bit of good stuff. All right, guys. That's, that, that is the worst locker I've bought in a long time. I'll be honest with you. This is a disaster. There's been a couple good things, but wow. And usually I'd say, well, the, even these are worth some money. Ten bucks each or something. But they're so nasty. Dried cockroaches and crap all over it. I don't think there's any value there. I think I'll be lucky to get two bucks each at the market and I don't really want to clean them up. I've got tons of those. I don't I don't want to spend my time cleaning that. Oh, dirty one, dirty one. Um, some of this stuff, that bit I'm taking home. Uh, the rest of this is going to go either to the market or to the dump. It's going to, someone's going to go straight to the dump to be honest with you guys, because it's just freaking disgusting. I'm grossed out. The smell in here is what, you know, and I keep talking about that, not to be complaining, but to be sharing with you guys. You don't know what it smells like. So I'm trying to introduce you to the sen all the senses that we do experience when we're in these lockers. And that's one of the problems with bidding um, online is that you cannot get that smell. You can't get that, that sensory input that you do, that we used to at the live auctions or that, you know, we still have them, but not here, not at public storage. So on this one, you would have opened it and put your nose in there and been, Nope. <laughs> nope. That's a dirty, that's a dirty locker and that's never working. Not never, but usually doesn't work out so well for me. So unless I see some good stuff in there, stay away from the dirty ones, but you can't tell online. You don't get that. So I'm sharing with you guys. So it is, uh, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Dirty food, rotten food and cigarette smell. And now we know that some of it's coming from a dead mice too. It's just potpourri of disgustingness. <laughs> <laughs> poo poo -ree. All right, I'm gonna get this cleaned up. I'm gonna get over and, like I said, unload my van so that smell doesn't permeate my van. Tomorrow, I might just rent a U-Haul and come back to get the rest of it because I don't wanna, I don't wanna dirty my vehicles. And uh, I'll take the U-Haul straight to the dump. You know, just throw a few boxes aside, bring it home. And now I bring it home. <clears throat> take that back. Bring it to my my um, storage facility and put it straight in my in my trailer. So yeah, 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 yeah. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> I'm not sure I did this time. It is still fun, but this one, this one lost that, it lost that love and feeling, and now it's gone, gone, gone. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't even know if I'll film the next time I'm here. I'll probably start filming, filming if and only I find something good. We found a few Xbox One items, so maybe there's some video games. Could be in one of these, I would say. Maybe this, the clear ones that aren't showing anything interesting or promising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm bidding on some other ones that, right now that are local and look pretty good. So I thought this one looked pretty good too, but you, the thing about this game is that 
you hit a bad one, you just gotta ra- get right back on that horse and keep riding, because uh, it is a numbers game. The next one will be better. I mean, the uh, next one could not be better, but you buy enough lockers, you're gonna get a few stinkers, you're gonna get a few big hits, and this is a stinker. The big hits are out there, and they're coming. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see how the next one turns out in the next video. Until then, good luck to you, God bless you, and we'll see you next time. Not here, hopefully, on Locker Nuts. All right, what's up, everyone? Uh, just a little update here at the end. You see, I got the U-Haul trailer there. I rented that this morning, loaded the rest of that unit up. Did not find anything else that was real good. Mostly everything was also in bad condition, but probably not as bad as the stuff we had already seen. Wow, but I went, I just wanted to add this. I did go talk to the manager. I had promised her I'd go through and pull photos and all that, and I told her, I said, look, this thing was nasty and i i did not want to go through the most of those boxes so there was some i saw some framed photos in there and i said honestly they were so disgusting i didn't want to go through it and i didn't want to give it to you guys because it was it's really really bad and she's like oh i appreciate that and she said well actually after we talked initially when i paid for the unit and all um she said that she did get a hold of the lady who rented it the lady said that was actually her granddaughter's stuff and that she the granddaughter whatever couldn't do it or uh something uh, maybe she was banned from the facility i don't know um but the granddaughter wasn't able to rent the facility so the grandmother put it in her name and that wasn't even her stuff and yeah, that sucks because grandma probably paid on it for years and probably grandma's credit is getting hurt uh by you know the non-pay so but um i did tell her i said look this stuff is really really bad condition like did you guys have a roach problem here because like there's a lot of dead roaches and she said yeah actually there was talk of that uh before she worked there so she said probably two to three years ago they had a roach problem she goes actually yeah i was downstairs right around where that locker is and i said well that's where your roach problem came from and and I explained to her how the food residue and everything smelled really strong. So the aroma of it probably lured the cockroaches. And the lady may even brought cockroaches in with her. But I said, honestly, it's the worst unit I've gotten in years. And I don't think I've actually ever seen a unit more destroyed by just cockroaches. Um, I said, you know, everything was the um, had roach poop. And it was just like sticky to the touch. And I'm like, it was just absolute. Everything was absolutely roached. And then I said, wait. <laughs> Wow, that's where that term comes from. And uh, it makes a lot of sense how roaches can destroy stuff. And um, I said it was roached. All, everything in there was roached. And uh, in, uh, I don't know, I had this epiphany. So anyways, that's what I'm going to name this locker. It was roached for sure. And I just wanted to add that. And um, she did say that she did have knowledge of the roach problem or there was talk of it. But it's been two to three years. So that also explains why we didn't see any live ones. She said it was definitely treated. Uh, the exterminators came and treated that area of the building. And I'm like, well, it sucks for our neighbors because they probably got roaches from her stuff. And also it sucks because there's a bunch of poison probably floating around. So just to let you guys know we will not be selling anything from this unit uh in our live auctions we'll bring a little bit to the flea markets but most of it like my trailer my um back of my truck is full all that's going to the dump there's gonna be a lot of stuff going to the dump it's too bad but it is ruined contaminated disgusting and that's the way it goes so (laughs) anyways that's a wrap all right guys you thought it was over it's not (laughs) that's why you got to watch the videos to the end um because i know this is going to be a short video because that locker is so terrible just want to update you guys on a couple of things so i rented a u-haul trailer and um took it down well i'm not gonna show you the receipt but i I rented a u-haul trailer i got the small trailer i showed you guys the trailer up front actually and um that was sufficient the small trailer was sufficient it cost me 38 bucks 37.90 for two days and i would have had it done in one day except i had my live auctions so and i had the puppy so puppy and <laughs> the puppy um so 38 bucks added to the cost of this unit so we had 600 dollars purchase price plus 10 percent fee to the auction company storage treasures that puts us at 660 now we're at um just shy of 700 and then right here we've got 50 dollars 96 cents at the dump so um, that actually wasn't too bad. So now we're out about 750 bucks, but I do have stuff I can sell at the flea market. I'm not putting any of this in my live auctions, not this locker, but some of it will go to the flea market. I know we'll, we'll recoup probably I'd say half of the money because there's a lot of brand new items. Oh, but 
wow. <laughs> if it wasn't condition, we would get our money back on this unit, but um, because of condition, we lost we lost a lot. And that's, like I said earlier, that's the trouble with buying online. You can't smell, you can't visually inspect it. The photos are terrible. And, you know, they're always, always dark and grainy. Um, they're never good enough where you could see like roach droppings and the signs of stuff. It looked like a clean locker. It absolutely wasn't. So, um, but a, a little interesting story. I went to the dump. The closest dump to us is um, kind of expensive. So I only take little truckloads there. This is more than a truckload. So I chose another dump that I haven't been to in years because it was too much money. And it's about, well, from my storage facility, it's about 16 minutes away. So I went there and I had to go to my storage facility because I still had garbage cans of garbage from that one that I said that it was a weird locker or a strange locker um, that one I had garbage and I still hadn't disposed of it so I went to my storage locker where I was storing the garbage and <laughs> uh, got those loaded up went to that dump 16 minutes away and um, the guy says uh, and I noticed they're all large trucks there's no like trucks like mine like no like normal people trucks all big huge massive trucks and so I wait in line I get on the scale go up to the guy and he says yeah it's $140 per ton i was like yikes that's expensive and he goes yeah and i said what's your minimum he goes 140 dollars and i'm like what really and he goes yeah we mostly just handle big accounts and i'm like your website says you're open to the public and the sign down there says open to the public he goes well we are but uh really no one no one comes here and i'm like okay that's why i didn't see any like homeowner cars here uh only trucks he goes yep and i'm like so what do i do go to tracy and he's like yeah go to tracy it's 40 dollars there and i was like oh okay yeah yeah i'm gonna go there 100 dollars savings so then i get on the road tracy's another 20 minutes away so i drive all the way out there and um then that guy's like it's 108 dollars a ton and i'm like what the guys in livermore said it was 40 and they're like no it's not 40 and i'm like yeah i thought 40 sounded cheap okay whatever i'm here let's go you know and then they're like do you have any appliances i said i got that little washing machine he's like 18 bucks and i'm like you guys are killing me no nah, forget it i'm gonna keep that just whatever so we did this you know dump scale it wound up being 50 almost 51 dollars uh, not too bad i think what the other guy meant is there's a 40 dollar minimum but still 140 104 dollars per ton the other place 140 per ton if you guys go to the dump in your area please comment below let me know how much you pay per ton all right because i am curious what other parts of the country i know some parts of the country people can dump for free and man i would love that i would love it but i can see why people would abuse it because we might tend to dump more stuff uh if it were free you know going to the flea market sometimes is a way of also leaving the dump fee so um it's also good for the environment right to give it into hands of people are going to use it again but this is a business so a lot of it's motivated by profit and loss right so um but anyways want to share that with you guys because i just think like the cost of this stuff is just freaking crazy but we are in the bay area san francisco bay area one of the most expensive parts of the country to live in um but this is like i still had to drive out of ways to get to these places that were still expensive um kind of crazy but anyways um that is dumped and then there's some stuff in my in my trailer to go to the market next time that will sell hopefully recoup a little bit of this loss and it is absolutely an l for the team guys an l for the team 750 but not a big loss we can absorb that but hey here's something that's a little better news or a lot better news i bought this lot of paintball guns at a garage sale recently if you watched that video thank you so much for watching that um that was a fun fun picking oh, actually it's three different days three days uh but this i bought a big box for 50 bucks i saw this in there and, and i looked it up real quick wgp and saw that it is a very expensive gun these this brand sells 100 to 150 um but i didn't find this one i looked up very quickly i didn't find this exact one so i did some more research look at what i found guys okay guys look at this uh search right here i searched for wgp black magic auto cocker paintball that's actually auto filled that i put in wgp black magic auto cocker i guess is a big thing because look at these prices oh my goodness wgp black magic right here 719 bucks wow wow right this one 285 but that's not a full gun this is a body it says body this there's no handles or anything like this missing a lot of parts here's a couple little parts 3320 look at this that looks very similar to our gun right here actually ours is even better Look at this thing side by side, if you can see. This thing right here has got these flames at the bottom. It's just got some really cool looking parts on it. Uh, that flame thing at the bottom is not on that one, and that one sold for 600. I think ours is better looking than that one. Maybe I'm just a little biased. 
600 bucks guys and it is being sold as is untested 600 bucks this is sold prices it's not listed this is sold september 13th so it was a couple of few weeks ago but um here's more parts here's another one 719 795 there's just a little part for 35 bucks the body again 300 bucks here's one for 699 best offer here's one 799 and then here's ours definitely the exact same model right here and uh that one sold for 350 uh, I mean, that's on the low end, but that is absolutely our color combination, but also missing this bottom piece. It's missing some, it doesn't have all the parts that ours has, but it does look ours is missing something off the back here. Something off the back's missing on this one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that is or what it's for, but look at 409, 400. This is for the red one, 400, 430, um, 357. That's missing a lot of parts. Auto cocker, 15 bucks. I don't know what these things are, but they all, it all adds up, right? And then look, I've got the barrel and that's the WGP logo, authentic barrel right there. So some of those ones we're looking at did not have a barrel. Ours does. Um, but I did want to show you some other stuff. This one is called the land shark right here. And I think it's worth anywhere from 10 to 30 bucks or something like that. So not terribly expensive. This is an older piece. And then we've got this right here, the uh, spider Java edition. And this one, I've got the barrel again with that. Look at that. Purdy, purdy. Um, this one, I think is 80 bucks. And then we've got this guy right here. I, this is an ion and it's ion power and this one i think is like 50 bucks it looks like we got the barrel for that one and then we've got this piranha r6 right here and i think this uh chrome barrel right there or the aluminum whatever that looks like that barrel it's got aluminum parts here so um that one's 50, uh no i don't think it's well with the tank and all this stuff it might be a little more but i think that one's more like 40 bucks or something so we got like 40 ish 50 ish 80 ish 20 ish that's 190 bucks right there but wait there's more i was going through it in here i hadn't been through this box since we bought it so i've also got these four tanks there's one tank on one of those guns. We got these, I think these are called hoppers. I don't know what they're really called, but this I thought was curious. This one's got some batteries in it. So that's a hopper, but it's got some kind of electric mechanism. This one looks like it also probably takes batteries. This one's pretty heavy too. So we got some simple ones like that. We got some more advanced ones like that that also looks like it takes batteries. It's missing the battery compartment maybe. And then this is an old school one right here. Oh, that's full of, full of paintballs. We got a couple of bags of Construction books and stuff. Some of this stuff, I think it's for cleaning them or something. I don't know what that is. Gloves. And then this right here. Oh, and there's this too. Jeez, there's all these little parts right here. And this goes to the purple one. It's a little dark in here. Got this belt cleaning supplies. But then this right here. Look at that. W. That's just WGP. That's another WGP item in those were oh this is that part that i said was missing so it's not missing that's the part that goes on the back of that gun and then right here uh these i think these this, this is leatherman this is something else but he just used them for storage look at that wgp another hand um uh what do you call it a grip right and trigger and their triggers are their triggers are nice and then a little bit more parts in there so yeah that's pretty cool right this might be I don't that might be 50 bucks right there right there that piece for how expensive the gun is that might be a 50 dollar bill right there and that's what we paid for everything 50 bucks so that was kind of a risky thing just because I know so little about paintball but I think it actually all of it put together wound up being a very good purchase and I think it's in very good condition but that one gun uh that this one this guy, I'm going to list that on eBay for 400 bucks with the barrel and not the extra handle, but the other parts, there's some other parts to it. So I'm going to list for 400 and say untested as is and uh, see if we can flip it quick for 400. We'll be in the money. The rest of it, I'll take to the flea market and we'll see if we can get decent money on it. I won't be asking eBay prices, of course, but... Um, won't take very much to break even on this little flip and i definitely dig that so last um this last week jana's been out of town if you guys watch our recent video i was talking about how she went to north carolina because our daughter faith had a baby she had her baby um about eight days ago right now so uh but isn't that um, crazy how jana leaves and right after she leaves that storm hits north carolina so um it was a little little scary for a moment there but 
um, they're in an area that it wasn't hit too hard. They definitely, she said they definitely had wind and rain, but some of the parts of North Carolina were devastated by this storm. So thank God they were not there, but the people at the hospital were uh, telling them like, hey, this could get pretty bad. So get to the hospital because you might not be able to get to the hospital if it gets bad. So Jana had to get there early that day and just hunker down. Some of the nurses were saying they didn't even know if they'd be able to get to work because uh, sometimes they're not able to if there's flooding and such. But luckily it didn't hit their area too bad. Um, but um, yeah, I know a lot of people definitely were affected and still are affected. I mean, their 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 lives won't be back to normal for some time. So prayers out to those guys. Um, I'm just very thankful that Jana and Faith and her husband and their baby uh, were not in harm's way uh, for this go around. But <laughs> that's Faith's going to have to adjust to North Carolina. It's not like uh, Northern California here. We have very mild, we have earthquake every now and then. We have some fires every now and then, but really pretty mild compared to that part of the country. So um, Faith's going to have to adjust to that. It's a new norm for her. And, uh, but we do have a little sweet grandbaby. We'll we'll run some photos right here, show you her. And uh, just very excited. I, Jana FaceTimed me a little bit, so I was able to see her, even though I wasn't there. Uh, to see her in person, I got the FaceTime with her. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's uh, new birth, is new life. You know, it's just always a joy to the family and kind of reminds you uh, the good things about life, really. You know, this, this business is a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of satisfaction from what I do. I get satisfaction. But... But really, it's like none of this stuff matters. You know, the baby, that kind of stuff, that's what matters. And uh, it's a good time, good time of life for our family. It, it just kind of sucks that they're not here so we could be uh, more part of their lives. But um, it's all right. We will get to see them, I think, in November. So um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. I guess uh, that will probably be done now. All right. And with that, no more to say. We'll see you next time.